So apparently Tim Waltz does not feel he is ready for this debate. You guys have got to check out the latest. Maybe weirdo Tim Waltz is worried sick. He's going to blow it at the debate tomorrow. The VP nominee is apparently fighting off nerves and is terrified he will embarrass his potential future boss after admitting to Kamala that he's a bad debater. CNN reporting, quote, Walls constantly comes back to how worried he is about letting Harris down. He doesn't want Harris to think she made the wrong choice. But here's she one did. thing he hasn't let Harris down on, his ability to dodge the press. The Atlantic calling out the Minnesota governor's lack of media availability, comparing him to being trapped in a campaign bubble wrap. Just want to let the audience know Greg Gutfeld said something incredibly inappropriate to me before that script and that's uh, pretty mild that was pretty normal yeah. yeah well then you're just a jerk <laughs> <laughs> when 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 you when you hear him saying he's worried he's gonna let her down how do you how do you see that it's bullshit plain and simple this is the lamest op i've seen in months we're supposed to get they, they expect us to get giddy and confident that this happy-go-lucky rural folksy dude is scared no he's not he's a construct He's purely manufactured. He's curated with all these comfortable traits. He's going to do great. He's a politician. Vance isn't a politician. Vance is deep. He writes. This guy, you know, he's a poor man's, uh, uh, he's a poor man's, who's the guy who used to throw the confetti around? Don King. I'll go with Don King. <laughs> I understand what he's saying because he is a politician after all, and he probably knows the questions that are coming beforehand, and he probably has all these little advantages that we don't know about. But the thing is, you could have all the advantages you want in the world, but you still have to go out and deliver and speak to the American people in a way that they can resonate with what you talk about. I don't think he's going to be talking about policy that much because they really haven't told us what their policy is on, on many pivotal issues. They kind of have just been silent and hoping that people forget about it but jd vance i've seen a lot of combative interviews with that man and he fights back at every single turn he doesn't refute what they're saying with these personal petty attacks he just speaks on the facts of the matter and that in itself should terrify tim waltz because i don't think he knows what's truly coming tonight you're saying he's gonna aw shucks his way through the debate. yeah 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 this isn't real this i mean this is like the this is so painful to actually even address because it's so fake mm. well we're gonna be addressing it a lot in the next 48 <laughs> hours because there's a big debate dana yes i'm looking forward to it there's very clever efforts by the walls campaign to lower expectations to be like oh jd vance is a lawyerly genius and i'm gonna do terrible and i'm so afraid i'm gonna disappoint her because they hope that he does better but when they rolled him out and chose him over Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania that said, oh, part of the reason is because he's got such great media skills. And then immediately they shoved him back in the closet. And I can't tell if it's because they're afraid he's going to outshine her, because she's apparently very sensitive to oh. that, or because he's actually really bad. Ooh. Or the third alternative is they just want to play not to lose rather than try to win. But tomorrow night it will be exposed. <laughs> Rip Taylor. Rip Taylor. He's a poor man's Rip Taylor. Look at it. By the way, they want him to be the underdog. That's why they're doing this. Right. I don't even know who Rip Taylor is. You should. Look him up. You look a you lot look like him up. him up. You look him up. Do you believe that your guy, Walls, is lowering expectations, or do you think he's honestly a nervous wreck, Jessica? I think two things can be true. Yeah. I, everyone wants to lower expectations before a debate, because if it goes fine, then you look godly. And if it goes just fine, then you're still fine. After it, one of his concerns or confessions during the vetting process to Harris's team was that he doesn't think he's a great debater. And J.D. Vance is not, I don't know how to say this nicely, J.D. Vance comes off awful most of the time, but he is a very smart guy and I imagine is a pretty good debater. And if you read the transcript, as I was telling you in the break, someone far smarter than I am, hard to believe that exists, but it's mm -hmm. true and I know them, said to me, you know, if you read the transcripts of whatever goes on at the VP debate, odds are that it's going to look like J.D. Vance won. And if Tim Walls does manage to quote unquote win, a lot of it will be emotive. It'll be how he says things, the kind of folksiness of whatever. But J.D. Vance is like a, an offensive encyclopedia. But he's warmed up. I mean, he's been doing a lot of contentious yeah. interviews. He's, he's, he's going to be up. ready to play. I mean, Walls hasn't done any contentious interviews. Yeah, he runs away. Walls runs away from the media. But you know what I think? I think the reason that Walls is worried is because he doesn't want Kamala to think that, that he was the wrong choice. But here's the 
the problem. The real problem is he himself doesn't know what Kamala thinks because he doesn't know whether it's the before she ran for president mm -hmm. or while she ran for president or what it was somebody said that now she supports. He doesn't know what she stands for. That's why he's scared. <laughs> Jesse, yes. Yes. I heard that the Waltz campaign is actually calling in Jeffrey Tubin because he's a master debater. <laughs> Greg. Uh, All right. And Greg called me a pervert before the show. <laughs> Sabrina right. Carpenter is very pretty. Or I like her music. Yeah. I don't know how she looks. Why oh, do they you even have that Democratic talking head there? <laughs> the it's going to look <laughs> like J.D. Vance won the debate if you look at the transcript. But if you actually watch it, you're going to think Tim Waltz won. What she's trying to say there, Tim Waltz will smile and he'll have all these expressions. And his tone of voice will just show that he's an everyman. Meanwhile, J.D. Vance will actually talk logic and common sense. And he'll say it in a manner that's direct and to the point. He's not avoiding questions. He's going to answer you 100% directly. Meanwhile, this guy, Tim Waltz, he's going to be dancing around. He's going to say all these great things that sound nice. But he's not going to have any actual plan and policy for how he's going to follow through on it. So I expect to hear a lot of fluff from this dude tonight, Tim Waltz. Meanwhile, J.D. Vance, he's just going to tell you how it is. He's going to tell you his plan, how he's going to improve this country. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. And I have a question. Do you think Tim Waltz is going to come out to the debate? Do you think he gives the wave to the camera before he shakes J.D. Vance's hands? I have a feeling he will because this guy is kind of bonkers. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe. And... Wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.